Alrighty, so people, some people have been asking how to use Reason for making YouTube poop music videos. This one guy, Stu, yeah, uh, Stu, whatever. So he's having some trouble with it, and then I got another comment saying some other guy was having trouble with Reason. So I figured I would make a tutorial about it. So you open up Reason 5, and then it's going to whine at you, because it's a bitch. So then, okay, it'll open up whatever you were working on last. So go, new, then you see this, and you're like, well, fuck, I don't know what to do, there's nothing here. So, okay, calm down, right click, and then go to create, and then create this mixer, not that one that's small. So create the mixer that's 14.2, and there's this thing. So you right click on that, and then go to create, and then you're going to want to create your sampler, which all of your little audio clips from the show are going to go into, and that's how you pitch them and, and stuff. Um, so what you're going to do is select the NN19 one, because that's easy, and it has all the basics, and it's really easy to work. So to get an individual sample, well, first off, I don't... It might start it off with a regular instrument, so if it does that, right click it, and then go down to initialize patch, and that'll make it all basic and like start over again. So then once you do that, go click on browse sample, then this is just like my folder of all the clips I have from the show. So just select, uh, which one? Uh. Alright, so select that sample, and what I do before I... Before I put a sample into Reason, um, get this program called Melodyne, and then put the recorded sample in there, and then you can pitch correct it, and then tell yourself what the note is, because you're, you're going to have to know what the note is. So I have it right there, so I know that's a D, and so then I go in here, and then look at the root key. If you try and write something out with this, like if you try and play one note, like you try and play a C... Uh it's not going to do it because the root key isn't right. So set the root key to a D because the sample is a D. And so then everything will be correct. When you play a C, it'll be a C. When you play an A, it'll be an A, whatever. Then from there, just go into... Then what I do to remove clicks and everything, click on this little fader, amp envelope attack, and then just bump that up to like 8 or 10, whatever. And then do the same thing over here. That'll get rid of the of like a clicking noise you hear in a lot of samples, and it'll it'll make it softer in general. Um, if you still feel it's out of pitch, um, use the semi tuner or no the the Viden tuner. This will tune it up whole notes, and this will tune it up in cents, and that's for like very fine stuff. Um, I think I love this octave thing. The octave knob, if something's too high, just shift an octave down, it'll fix that. Then, um, if you don't think a sample will sound start, well, if a sample doesn't like start right, like um, a lot of people use uh, the louder sample. And the louder, like, they don't get the ah part, they get the low, like, so you hear the L in it, and that's bad. You don't hear, like, the vowel sound that you want in a vocal sample. So, if the sample starts off weird, just move the sample start up a bit, and then you can start ad adjusting it like and hear what's going on like on this one you can hear um, there's kind of a little change in the pitch when Twilight like starts out saying ah uh. so that's more of a balanced kind of sound I mean, it sounds like crap right now but whatever that's the basic stuff so that's how you take a sample and put it into Reason and then get everything set up so you can write all your notes out in the sequencer in here. Um, well, this is actually a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, if you have any more questions about stuff like that, just send me a message. And I guess if enough people ask, then I will make more things like this. Okay, bye. Fuck.